let's take a look at using the Arrive Can app to um, get into Canada if you're a U.S. citizen. So the first thing that you have to do is download the Arrive Can app onto your phone. You can also use a computer, um, but you might as well get it set up on your phone because you'll need that at the border. So um, the first time you set it up, you're going to have to put in a lot of information. Um, just details about yourself, your passport, you'll have to put in the dates and times and batch numbers of your vaccinations and boosters and that type of thing. Once that's done, the app saves that information for later, which is very, very handy. And then you just have to upload details of each trip. Now, each trip does need a ticket or a form filled out for the trip within 72 hours. You can't do it any earlier and you'll need to know the port of entry and estimated time of when you'll be at that port of entry. So here's what it will look like when you open the Arrive Can app to fill out a form. So you click continue, and then you're going to click on trip details and select the reason. And for me, it's discretionary travel or optional travel. Then I click next, and how am I gonna enter? I'll go ahead and click on enter by land if I'm driving, and then it asks me what port I am going to be arriving at, and you can search here. Make sure that you know the Canadian name. For example, you wouldn't say sweet grass um, on, uh, you wanna say the, the side on the Canadian side. So I'm gonna click Carway, and what date will I enter? Now you'll see that only certain dates are available. Again, that's because I have to do this within 72 hours. So if I were coming, say, on the 17th, I couldn't do it for a couple more days. Then choose the time that you expect to be at the border. Make sure you put AM or PM. And then next, and then on this one, you need to put in your phone number. and then whatever your official language is. And then you select a traveler. If your traveler is already in here, like I already set up everything here, then I click save, I, I click myself and save and close. I could also add another traveler at this time. For example, my husband or any friends who are accompanying me and get them in here. Um, if their passport has already been done and Arrive Can, it will know that information. Otherwise, I'll have to fill out all the information for the Arrive Can as well. So I hope that helps you get started. Oh, one last thing. Once you get your um, form, um, you will need to save. Um, you need to agree to this. and returning home and the last step is this acknowledgement of um, your covid symptoms and then here is your information i would write down this number or i take a screenshot and save it on my phone. Now, why don't I just use the Arrive Can app? Because it requires cell service and I don't have cell service at the border. So I want to make sure that when I go into my photos that I have this in case I need to show this to the border guard and the border guard can scan this. Now, generally they just ask for your passport and they scan your passport, but it has happened where it doesn't bring up the Arrive Can information and then they need this QR code and this number to be able to get your information up on their screen. They may also ask for your passport and your vaccine card. They do select randomly for double checks and also for um, COVID tests. So you never know, be prepared, bring your passport still, bring your vaccine card and have a copy of this QR code ready for them. So that should help you get going. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.